Hello all, welcome, this is The Practitioner again, uh, here to talk about my latest experiment. This one pertains to the existence of ghost phenomena, more specifically around um, Victoria. What I did was I went to uh, 14 different sites uh, pertaining to uh, reportedly haunted, and what I did was I um, decided to um, use a newer technique of detecting ghosts um, based on the theory that if there is, uh, you know, if ghosts can affect our world at all, i.e., you know, um, uh, talk to people, uh, you know, influence, pull them, or pull through guys' activity whatsoever, they should theoretically also be able to um, influence uh, any object, and that includes radioact um, a truly random process such as radioactive decay. So what I did was I set up a, I got uh, true random data sets from www.formulab.com, the Retro Psychokinesis Project, and using these uh, 14 sets and also running a series of 14 control trials to double check uh, just to make sure that you know statistical anomalies and stuff like that were kept out. Um, I went and uh, set off these random number uh, data sets um, in places which were reported to be haunted and saw what the results were. Um, there were two criteria to match for um, on the ghost experiment side. Um, one of which was A, uh, the, the all the material had to be statistically significant, like, you know, cumulatively the results, the sum of the total results had to be statistically significant, and B, that whatever sites were haunted had individual statistical significant results as well. Each experiment was, 100 was 1,024 random bits. I also ran a control, uh, I also ran a series of uh, 14 control experiments with these 1,024 bits as well, off the same random number generator, just to uh, double check that such things were not, um, would not, uh, you know, cause problem, you know, would not cause problems such as, uh, uh, you know, uh, statistical compilation errors or anything like that. Um, uh, other per controls in place were uh, that the tests were set up ahead of time and were not observed by uh, by experimenter, uh, courtesy of putting up a uh, another uh, Windows Internet Explorer window over said um, over said experiment just to make sure that this way um, psychokinetic influence uh, possible or experimenter side effect or anything like that were uh, put in place. Um, other controls, of course, are dealt with. Uh, well, other controls such as, you know, fraud, other error, etc., are dealt with because of the fact that formulab.com records the results independently and they are from a true random number generator. Okay, so that having been said, the results. The results did not deviate from chance at all. Two statistical tests were run. Um, the, the results themselves can be found under the uh, labels under experimental reports, record runs uh, only, under ghost control and ghost experiment. These can be found in the experiment logs at formulab.com for the, for the actual results. Um, a uh, diamond res uh, dimension research uh, has a Z test for proportions and a T test for means. Both were used uh, to attempt to verify if there was a statistical significant different from, difference from each other. There was none. Uh, they were not statistically significant. They were not significantly different, meaning there was only chance at play. Um, as for the actual results themselves, um, the control showed a dip in the negative direction, not statistically significant, whereas the experiment runs uh, run at the actual supposedly haunted sites themselves did not deviate from chance at all. Um, uh, does this prove that ghosts uh, do not exist, or does it prove that they do uh, exist? Again, uncertain. This is not a peer review. This is just a, uh, a brief little informal mention um, for those who wish to continue uh, doing research on it. Um, I suggest peer-reviewed uh, further research using uh, proper random number generators and further tightened controls. But as for now, for my own personal opinion, I'd have to say for this Halloween that um, ghosts probably do not exist, uh, especially considering that also um, EVP phenomena and cameras, uh, digital camera was used as well to attempt to gain um, video footage and EVP phenomena, neither of which were found. Um, so, uh, in addition to the random numbers, um, so with all three tests running and no results found of any sort, um, there were a couple of spots which did have statistically significant results in their own right, but without the criteria of a, uh, a uh, without having the in without the entire um, database of without all the bits uh, having a statistically significant number of hits, uh, there's nothing there. So um, no, the null hypothesis will have to be true that uh, ghosts that these so-called sites for Victoria which were supposedly haunted are not, and that ghosts, uh, at least for these samples, do not exist. Um, the, uh, the sample as to whether or not they were actually ghosts, this doesn't really answer that issue because only uh, 14 sites that were haunted uh, in Victoria out of, that could have been well over 30 or more, uh, were actually taken for this sample. So um, the sample size is not very large, 
Um, and you know the statistical power of this cannot necessarily say whether ghosts do not exist, but it will say that at least these particular sites, which were on the ghost walks, were not ha uh, were not haunted. So there's one route at least, um, which for Victoria Ghost Walks is not haunted and is not worth uh, uh, not worth continuing on. Um, if you're watching this, Ghostly Walks uh, guides, I will email you the results uh, specifically pertaining uh, pertaining to the exact sites, etc. Shortly. Um, and just might as well take off an entire route off your list because it's not it's not haunted. So, uh, that having been said, um, I am now a little bit more skeptical of ghost uh, phenomena. Um, and I will keep exploring, nonetheless, because, you know, I will try to maintain an open mind and I will keep exploring. But, uh, for now, I'd have to say that there has been no evidence uh, so far um, using tests that haven't been, re uh, you know, refuted via such things as lens flare or uh, subjectivity. Um, you know, there, there's been no evidence so far, even based on the most rigorous test, i.e. true random numbers for poltergeist effects, that um, there's any ghost phenomena whatsoever. So, that's my opinion. Um, like I said, I haven't found any evidence. Um, I do suggest further scientists to peer review under tighter conditions, still in conduct for the research, because, well, you know, it's only one study, and it's uh, informal. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be soon posting up The Expert Layman, uh, Season 1, Episode 3. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm still continuing on with research for the Skeptic Believer Experimenter Effect, uh, more specifically known as the Experimenter Psi Effect, um, which apparently does have still have some evidence for it, um, you know, uh, you know, needs further study. Uh, so psychic phenomena may still be possible. As for ghost phenomena, however, I am a little bit more skeptical now. So just repeating, giving you guys my heads up as to where I am. And I hope you enjoyed. Toodles. Happy Halloween.